Hello, I'm Emily Guerra. You don't know my face because they don't actually let me on camera that often, but here we are at GDC Europe 2013, where a few strange games seem to be appearing, such as Actung Arcade. So, why don't you talk to me about your game? My game? Which game? Which game? How many games are there, in fact? There are actually only 17 games on the arcade. Okay. But the rest are like the hacked versions of the games. The games are pretty simple. They are mostly about killing, mostly about bloods, but largely they're just easy, fun, addictive little snippets of what could eventually be a larger game. I kind of wanted to show these smaller games, like the games I made for game jams, games I made just for myself, like overnight or over a week or over a few weeks. And these games need love too, and not only my games, so a lot of people games. Well, for now the theme is me, I guess. Yeah. I made these games, but I don't know if they actually have something in common. Maybe my awful music. <laughs> With game jams, obviously, your market is online. You make these things within online communities, so why would you go through all the trouble of building this machine over here? Well, first of all, it was fun to build it. <laughs> Second of all, it is fun for it to be here. Like, I'm on the GDC with arcade, with like a super small game that <laughs> some of them were made in one hour even. Those games didn't get many attention. And then I can have other people make games for the arcade and extend the library. So there are more real games and less fake ones inside. Yeah. Actung is an oddity in GDC Europe, which is a place basically just surrounded by odd-looking computers and many tired people. But as something that's made by just a small little independent developer, it's an impressive thing to have here.